With the holiday season upon us, we'll all be spending a little bit more time around the house. Today I'll show you how to build a Raspberry Pi powered smart kitchen terminal to show live videos, news, weather forecasts, do web searches, and more. You can set this up for any room in the house. Stay tuned at the end for a sneak peek of the next video where we will add full voice recognition and control with the Amazon Alexa artificial intelligence system. The system is set up as a static web page running full screen in Chromium, displaying all the information and news and videos and live feeds that I want. In the background we can run anything we like on the Raspbian operating system. To build this project you're going to need a Raspberry Pi, a case, a power supply, a microphone, some cables, and a monitor. If you don't already have one I recommend you get the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B because it has the Wi-Fi on board as well as a pretty powerful processor and lots of memory. We'll also need a microphone. In this case I'm going to use this old Retail Plus webcam that's actually the lens is broken on it. You'll also need a case for your Pi. As well, you're going to need a monitor. There's lots of options here. The one I'm using is an automotive 12 volt style display touch screen for displaying DVD movies in vehicles. I had this spare from my flight simulator so I can repurpose it. It only has a VGA input so we're going to need an adapter. The adapter I got was just from Amazon. They're pretty price reasonable now. It goes from the HDMI coming out of the Pi to the VGA into the monitor. And as well, we'll need a small cable. Assemble your Pi into the case. Pretty straightforward. Uh, fasten it down. You can use any kind of case you like. I'm using the one I got from Adafruit here. Hook up the cables to your monitor so we have display and hook up your webcam, power to the Pi, and anything else you like at this time, such as a USB mouse and keyboard, just till we get everything configured. I'll put the link in the description to the videos I did previously. We're going to set up the Pi with Raspbian. I recommend you also set it up with OpenELEC as well, in case you want to play movies and, and videos from uh, Kodi on your kitchen Pi. I've covered all this in the previous videos, so check out the link. Once you have the operating system all set up, you're going to want to go ahead and set it up for a VNC connection. It makes it really easy to work with the display, the desktop, the GUI in the Pi remotely. So I've already done a video on that, fully covered, full setup and all the information. Check it out. Once you have your Pi all set up, you're going to want to go to over to my GitHub and there I've posted the Kitchen Pi code. This is the website code. You're going to need to host it on a web server. If you don't have one, there's lots of videos on setting up another Pi as a web server. Uh, I have multiple websites, so it's no problem to just copy these files over to my web hosting. Uh, you can get web hosting online for about $4 as well. You're going to want to go ahead and edit the index.php file to suit what videos you want to show. It's very easy, just the short links for the YouTube live feeds and it will cycle through them every few minutes, which you can configure as well. You'll see on the page at the bottom are the menu links to each of your YouTube feeds as well as it'll display all the weather and information on the screen at the, at the time. There is also a button with www. This will open uh, a search engine window which will be pretty handy if you wanted to actually do a web search directly with your keyboard. We won't need this in the future when we add the voice activation. Overall, I'm super happy with this project. I didn't develop the website code from scratch myself. I found it on YouTube, which you can find the link to the original author right in the readme file on GitHub. I thank him for his work. It made it easy for me to move forward with this project. I'm really happy with the way this works. Uh, having all that information just sitting there on my counter all the time when I'm making coffee or making food, it, it's really nice to have. In the next videos, we'll add the Amazon Alexa voice recognition system to this. Alexa, when do the Leafs play? The Maple Leafs will play this Tuesday at 9 p.m. in Edmonton against the Oilers. Alexa, what's the weather for Tuesday? Here's the forecast for Tuesday, November 29th in Bad Axe. Look for clouds and showers with a high of 12 and a low of 3.
Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. These projects are made possible by you guys out there supporting the channel on Patreon. Even a dollar support goes a long way. Good luck with your builds this week. I will see you next week. 